Hello Virgo, thank you for stopping by your APK, your first thing, reading. All right, so tarot is gender neutral, your kings will be queens and vice versa. And also time is fluid, so these are the events that have already happened that are currently taking place or that will unfold for some of you guys here in the near future. For a Virgo spirit, let's have APK Virgo's person and the energies. Cross watchers, this reading can resonate for you more than for the Virgo you're cross watching for. We have the sun here, very optimistic and appreciating what you have in life right now, things being illuminated. I see your person sees that something in their life could be getting illuminated as well. Page of Pentacles. Ooh, someone has a message for you. Virgo, let's find out. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. So you have two tens here. I see the sun here. That's Leo energy. Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Eight of Pentacles, More Earth energy, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Ten of Swords. So I see here that your person is staying optimistic in life right now, but they're definitely working on an offer for you. They want to have some type of recognition for you. They want you to see them. And um, they are trying really hard to get your attention right now. You see the sun here is shining here. And this is about illumination. The sun is, you know, your life force energy, your vitality, right? So in this energy, I definitely see this person wants your attention. They want you to notice them. They're holding that pentacle up like, see, see, here I am, Virgo. So this person has an offer for you. Um, they're open to opportunities for personal growth with you as well. They see you here as a work in progress here and that you are currently working on your legacy here um, with Ten of Pentacles here. This is your legacy. This is your prosperity and abundance growing, working on yourself, good health, um, wealth and riches on its way to you. They see that you have this inner strength about yourself that's very, to them, um, it's very alluring, it's very magnetic and mesmerizing to them here. This is more Leo energy. Someone's definitely dealing with a strong Leo here on the board. They see that you can deal with whatever comes your way. And they want a reason to come in and celebrate you and everything that you have. Celebrate your life with you. Um, this person wants to attach themselves to your legacy and to your story here. Three of Pentacles and Four of Cups here. Um, basically, this person wants to show you all that they are been working on. All that they have been working on behind the scenes right now. Here in this Three of Pentacles type of energy collaborations, they want to come together and work with you, but they also want you to see everything that they've been working on and putting forward in the, you know, since the separation for those of you who are in separation here. Um, and it doesn't have to be a, a situation where you are in separation, but some of you are definitely done with your person um, for good. Um, Ten of Swords energy is here. We'll get to that in a minute. So they want you to see all that they have worked for. They want you to give support to them. They want recognition from you here. And this person definitely puts you on a pedestal. Um, and the Four of Cups is telling me this person is discontent right now with a current situation that um, could be taking place in their life right now. You know, they're they're not happy. They don't have the happiness that um, others around them would think that they would have for the, some of them who are in a family um, dynamic type of situation at home if they have children or if they're dealing with a, something that they've just newly started and all of a sudden they've decided once they met you or they were introduced to your energy and org field that you are the one and now they're discontent with their current situation that they're in four of cups energy here just things not fulfilling them in life right now because this person is too caught up and hung up on you for some of you guys i see that the eight of pentacles is telling me this person wants to work on cutting out something in their life that they're definitely wanting to get rid of and turn their back on here um, they're emotionally turned their back on a person or connection or situation that they are in. I see this very much so with the King of Swords here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Eight of Pentacles. So they're dedicated to what they believe in. They're dedicated to working on themselves. And more than that, they're dedicated to you and to this connection about bringing this forward here. They trust their ability to make strategic decisions here. Um, they see the truth and the ending. They see that the ending is the only way that they can speak their truth, that they can live their best life and fall in alignment with this Ten of Pentacles energy, which is right below the Ten of Swords here. So it's going to be harsh. It's going to be a bitter ending and split for your person if they're dealing with someone that they have children with. It's never a good situation, you know, to leave the home where your children are used to having you at, but this person is not fulfilled there. They are looking at you, Virgo, and they're wanting to come in and be with you and offer, you know, 
you something tangible here with the Page of Pentacles. Um, they can be coming in with gifts. This person can be coming in with uh, strategy. Wow, cool strategy. This person strategically planning um, how to leave the situation here. They're very intelligent and smart. They're a thinker. And what they think is that they want to build with you. They want a legacy with you. They want to come in with you uh, so that they can take on life and the infinite flow of abundance and the good nature and loving energy that surrounds you right now. You're giving them life. <laughs> Right now, um, first chakra, Archangel, Michael. All right, and indecision as well as door to value. This person could be at a crossroads right now, not knowing what to do here. But definitely see the, the abundance here. You have two infinity symbols, the number eight here, and then the um, angel of strength here, um, which is the inference. This is them seeing you being someone who's strong enough to be the one to bear their children, to be their wife. Um, they can want to put a ring on it. This could be the offer that they're coming in with here with this page of pentacles here. So first chakra, Archangel Michael, card 35. Let's read. Card 35 reads, stability and security. With these 10 of pentacles, this is definitely working. Um, three of pentacles and eight of pentacles. It could be someone you've met at work um, here that you guys are dealing with here. Um, it could be someone in law enforcement as well. So, um, Michael holds a beautiful globe, a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine, right? This is the place where your sense of stability and security is stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. Even if you've had problems with these feelings in the past, if you felt secure, these challenges are beginning to be resolved at this time. Archangel Michael is with you, bringing you strength and personal stability you are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path so allow yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now and always all right so definitely beautiful energy your person strategically planning to come in with you because they see that you're working on yourself you're creating a door to value here they value you and they know that it gets greater later in this connection. There's a possibilities for marriage, for growth, for abundance here. The Ten of Pentacles is about stability, family, longevity, loyalty, trust, um, and being grounded, you know. So I hope someone got what they needed out of this reading. Thank you all so much for joining me. Virgos, you guys have a lovely, blessed day. Namaste.